the problem as promised, Lord Thonlin. But we need to hire protection if the ruin is as infested as you say. I would employ ghost hunters who can't hunt ghosts. Ah, just find your help and get to work before I change my mind. If only all spirits could be dealt with by simply slashing away at them. I'm going to take a moment to make an assumption. You're somewhat versed in fighting, or at the very least defending yourself. It's your aura and the swagger that give it away. Are you looking for work by chance? My outfit specializes in spirit intervention, investigating hauntings and putting lingering spirits to rest. Spirits aren't always welcoming, though. In cases like our current job, we need someone to watch our backs. We're to cleanse a malicious presence on lands recently acquired by our employer. I know very little about the area, other than the Ashlanders think it's cursed. Whatever the presence is, it likely won't sit idle while we exercise it. Hence, you. Our destination is an old fortress far to the north, accessible only by a small pass in the mountains. There's an Ashlander camp outside of it where we'll be stopping for supplies. We may find out more from them. The friendly gentleman talking to us earlier, Lord Thonlin, that's our employer. He just purchased a writ for the land the fortress sits on. Says he got it rather cheap, too. I imagine the spirit infestation must have lowered the price a bit. First, we figure out why they linger. Is it a cursed relic binding them? Vengeance for a wrongful death? Looking to say goodbye to a loved one? It's always different. Once we figure that out, it's easier to get them to move on. I can't say it's always been perfect, but my group's the best at what we do. We even guarantee that our client will be fully satisfied or their money back. Won't find other ghost hunters offering that, I promise. I doubt Lord Thon knows any more than us. Knowing the type of person our employer is, he likely viewed this deal as too good to pass up and left it at that. Not big on details, that one. This team here? This team's the best ghost hunting team in all of Tamriel. We all have a special connection with the realm of the dead in one way or another. It helps us communicate and problem solve when it comes to spirits. Near death experiences. Cast a lightning spell while wading in water? Could put you one step into the great beyond. There's just something about having one foot in the grave that ghosts relate to. Well, then maybe we should talk when we're done. You could round out our group. We're always looking for a little muscle. We thought Shars knew how to fight. I mean, just look at his arms, but... He's a pacifist, so... Uh, oh well. Greetings, fellow traveler of... whatever town we're in. Speak to me as a friend, for that is what we shall become. That is, unless you have darkness in your heart. Then we will part as the greatest of enemies, for I only mingle with those pure. Righteous? <laughs> I know. It is the many years I've studied underneath the tutelage of the noblest and most honorable of lords and ladies. My teachers would give their food to the hungry, their money to the poor, their clothes to the naked. They were. So much so they ended up on the streets with no home, no money, and no food. But they had purity in their hearts. And that's what was important. Until they caught the plague, then most of them died. But they died with honor. Balara Nama I, Traveler. May the spirits walk among you as an ally, and your shadow never stray from your feet. It is the language of my people's religion and beliefs. It dates back to ancient times when the true gods were worshipped, when mortals and immortals lived side by side as equals. It's very old. I can tell you more about it for a donation, of course. You have a valid point. I suppose I have to stay competitive or risk letting this old, grand religion fall into total obscurity. The name of our religion is so ancient that the mortal tongue cannot speak its name, but it holds the secrets of divinity. Its true followers long ago achieved perfection and left this world behind. Most of their teachings are lost to time. 
I found their lost archives and scrolls. Just a fraction of the truth, Traveler, but enough. The path of perfection is open to me, and you may follow it. For another small donation, I can give you a copy of the holy texts. Ask me when we return. I don't have time to speak to strangers, stranger. I need to get these imbeciles moving so I can get my property back. Those ruins belong to Galgala and his curse. You sent those people to their deaths. Your tales of make-believe may scare off gullible travelers, but not me. Those ruins belong to me now. My people will be cleansing this curse in no time. You will only join Galgala's collection of puppets. If we see you again, we will assume you are a vessel of his and kill you on sight. You have been warned. These Ashlanders are fools, stuck in their primitive fictions. Galgala and his curse are supposed to scare me? Ha! Wait, who are you? Why are you speaking to me? Well, you're tardy. I sent the others ahead. May as well settle in here. At the rate you move, they'll be back before we finish this conversation. And whose fault is that? Every day that land sits useless. It's my coffers that suffer. I wasn't about to let Theo squander our time entertaining the tall tales of these Ashlanders. The fewer of these body snatcher fables they hear, the better. Malignant spirits, that's enough to do their job. Or it should be, if they're such experts. If you'd like to do yours, Valenvarion is to the east through the pass. Do not be fooled by the man outside. Galgala is not a spirit to be taken lightly. Those he sent to Valenvarian are already dead, though their bodies may lie convincingly. Galgala is a body shifter, a spirit who expels living souls and uses their bodies as puppets. Though his spirit is bound to Valenvarian, once possessed of a vessel, he is free to roam and lure more into his trap. Our wards would not allow evil spirits to enter the camp. Lord Thonlan is simply, as the outside people of Vardenfell would put it, an ass. If we knew, Galgala would not still exist. Killing him while he occupies a vessel only frees his spirit. The only answer is to offer nothing to him. Wisdom the man outside does not hear. Run along now. You do want to catch up to your companions, don't you? This land is more hostile than I expected. Maybe we should have gone with Farwin to set the wards. Assuage your doubts, my friend. Farwin is a righteous woman who smites evil with her depth of goodness. She will be fine. Right. You made it! Lord Thonlan ushered us out of the camp so fast we almost didn't get supplies. Bastard threatened to pull our contract if we didn't hurry up. Luckily, this case seems fairly standard. Just some mad spirits we need to put to rest. Well, we have a name. Galgala. That'll help us call him out, find out what's ailing him and all that. That'll make things a little bit easier. So long as he's not one of those spirits that tries to possess people or something. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, that changes things. A lot. We've only dealt with a possession spirit once. We lost our friend Lonnie dealing with it. That bastard Thanon said nothing about this. We need Farwen's ward set up, fast. She went to set her protection wards around the site. Standard practice is to scout for optimal placement. Find Farwen and make sure those wards get set. It should buy us time to figure things out. That'll be a start. Do what you need to in order to get Farwen back here safely. We can't waste any time. Possession spirits aren't to be taken lightly. I'd love to, but she's tight-lipped about the secrets of her old gods. Maybe I should be less stingy in my donations. Shars and I know a trick or two of our own, but it's Farwen's wards that have always kept us safe. We'd be lost without her. I see the ghost.
ghosts are still on my land, Theo. And here you are, just standing around. So good of you to join us, Lord Thonlin. I'm sure your motivational presence won't be a distraction at all. You must pardon me a moment. I require focus while I commune with the old gods. They will show me the Jahida of this place and guide by placement of their protective wards. Your help is appreciated. I can fend for myself, but conjuring these wards is taxing, and establishing a spirit barrier is only the first step. I must continually channel the flow of magic to maintain it for any extended period of time. The wards must align around a focal point as near to the haunting as we dare. Poorly placed, the spirit barrier could appear in an undesirable location. Inside solid rock, for instance, and I'll only have the strength to attempt this once. A body shifter? Old gods protect us. Not everyone survived our last brush with something like that. I... I must pray. There. The old gods have lit the way. I shall follow you and save my strength for my magics. Not good. These spirits are being drawn to where our wards need to be placed. And so many. Who shall be my favorite, I wonder? It's done. The spirit knows what we're up to. We need to hurry before it decides to stop toying with us. has lingered here for a very long time, but have faith that the old god's power is far older. There, the last one. Clear the way and we'll be safe soon enough. My righteous friend, what are you doing with your hands? It intimidates the ghosts when I stand like this. It tricks them into believing that I'm the one wielding this power. You look like an idiot. Be gone, evil spirits. Be gone! Oh, hey. It worked. Well, at least the ward is keeping the spirits out for now. Which is good, considering we're nothing more than vessels to them. I'm not ready to give up my body just yet. Still some good years in this one. But where's Farman? She must be with you. We have to get her back, before it's too late. She's not lost. It's no easy thing casting a living soul from its body. We have time, but she's not the only one in danger. This shield won't last very long without Farwen channeling magic to it. I don't suppose he offered us a handy map or some directions to where he's hiding. No, of course not. This damn spirit wants to use one of our own against us. Well, two can play at that. If we can lure a spirit into this ward, we'll have it under our control. 
temporarily anyways, we'll be able to question it. If the spirit is bound to this Galgala, it'll be compelled to tell us where he hides. By breaking it down to its very essence and then rebuilding it again, I need you to destroy these spirits until you find one powerful enough that its essence remains. Bring that essence back to us, and we'll do the rest. Place the essence in the circle here. We're ready to begin the summoning. Rise up, spirit, and be bound to my command. Why do you summon me, vessels? Vengeful spirit, you will tell us where your master holds our friend. Silence, weaklings. I will speak to the one who brought me here. W wait, that's not how this is supposed to work? <laughs> you lack the will to command me. Yes, you are strong. I understand Galgala's interest now. You will make a fine vessel. Ask what you will, but our time is short. Determine your questions wisely. Ha ha ha. Galgala does not hide, but a good first question. He is not here. This ruin merely acts as a dungeon for his captive souls. You will know it soon enough. His fortress is near, if you look closely. The lava pass under the bridge of stone. She clings to her shell. Our master likes to toy with his puppets before their end. I remember my death vividly. If Galgala were to be defeated, I'd not be saddened. But there would be consequences. Last question. Choose carefully. Your friend will die soon. Destroy Galgala's vessel, and his essence will seek safe harbor in her weakened body. His power will sustain it, and she will live, buying her a few more precious years, if she's strong enough to suppress him. I'm sure you do. I'd like to see how this ends, but alas... And there goes our ward. Guess Farwen's spell could only hold so long without her being here. Ward or not, I expect my land to be cleared, and soon. We sure are out in the open now, aren't we? I hate to admit it, but we're in over our heads. We have to do something to get Farwen back, but you heard what the spirit said. Shars and I aren't warriors. There's no way we're defeating Galgala. I mean... I know you're supposed to be our bodyguard. I just didn't expect we'd need the position to be taken quite so literally. You know what? I'm going to let you do your job. I might even know where Galgala is. Right. We passed it on our way here, just south. I'll mark it for you. Go and do whatever it takes to save our friend. Farwen's strong. If anyone can deal with an evil spirit in them, it's her. It's too dangerous to stick around without the wards. We'll drag Lord Thonlin back to safety, kicking and screaming if we have to. I don't care about the money, just save Farwen. But if you do banish Galgala, we'll have means to celebrate with. All right, team. We're packing up and heading back to town. Our friend will handle it from here. What? What are you talking about? You've hardly done anything. I expect you to clear this ruin, not run away with your tail tucked between your legs. Seeing as you withheld information that's jeopardizing the lives of my team, you voided our satisfaction guarantee. We're leaving. I suggest you follow. I had hoped to greet you as a friend, but we will be very close soon.
long. I can't have you. But fortunately, I have other playthings. Free? Am I free? I was a prisoner. I can't think. I have to get away. I... I feel better now. The, the pain, it's... fading. I... I feel so light. Drifting away. Am I dead? Galgala. Yes. His presence is all around. Smothering. I... I need to rest. I'm so tired. Just let me lie down for a moment. I... I have to stay awake. My body feels so heavy, but I... I, I God! It hurts! I can feel him clawing at the back of my eyes! I, I don't know that I can do this! Uh, I don't know! Finish me! End my life before this spirit can take control! I don't want to be his puppet! What do you know of my gods? <sighs> the irony. My fate left in the hands of my faith. I want to live, divines. You hear me? I am going to live. It's, it's quiet now. It's quiet. Let's get out of here. And our hero returns. Let's hear it for our friend here. To bravery, honor, and righteousness. May the old God's blessings be upon you. We were wondering when you were going to arrive. I told the others to wait until you got here before we began celebrating, but Shars found the drinks and one thing led to another and, well, I'm glad that you're here now. <laughs> Good spirits. I'll have to remember that one. Why wouldn't we be? You saved our dear Farwin and rid the world of a terrible evil. Farwin told us all about your battle to banish Galgala, the stuff of legends. She said you destroyed his material body and drove him out of those ruins. With Galgala gone, those other bound spirits will clear out soon enough as well. Not even Lord Thanlan can argue the results. Our job is a success because of you. As promised, here's your payment. I even threw in some extra for going above and beyond what we could have ever asked of you. If we ever decide to start an official Ghost Hunters Guild, you'll be the first to know, my friend. If you'll all excuse me, I'm going to find some more wine. This day has been quite taxing. I'm sorry. I just needed to take a little breather away from everyone. Just... just a bit to get my strength back. Then I'll be as good as normal. No one needs to know what actually happened to Galgala. I... I have things under control. He's gone from the ruins, which means we did our job and get paid. Why else does it matter? I'm thankful for your concern, but the eight will protect me and guide my hand. Now please, you're making much out of nothing. I will be fine. Did I say the eight? I, I, I believe in all gods, the eight included. It's part of my strength. In fact, I should pray. Right now. Good day. Maybe we should make things official and establish a formal business. Vardenfell has so many old spirits. There must be droves of people just looking for someone to call on. We'd need a name, though. Something catchy. Farwin? Certainly. I really can't thank you enough for saving her body and soul from an ancient, monstrous spirit of pure malice. What's that look for? Oh, no. Please don't tell me we didn't banish Galgala. I've already marked it down as a victory in our new guild job log. Wait, does this mean we didn't banish him? Is he contained? 
Is that not Farwin? Am I going to have to change the job log? What a relief. Farwin is strong, stronger than any of us. If anyone can resist such a thing, it's our friend. I will watch over her, though. But if Galgala isn't roaming about freely, that counts as a victory for us, right? <laughs> Your actions are selfless and courageous. You have proven yourself worthy of the name friend. I would buy you a drink to toast it, but my coin is already pledged to the orphanage of my homeland. Come to think, can I borrow some gold to pay for this? <laughs>